Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to perform the slum cone test. Slum cone test is performed to check the workability of concrete. In my previous video, we checked the workability of concrete by a compaction factor test apparatus. The link of which is given in the description. Slum cone apparatus is used to check the workability of concrete and the workability is defined as the ease with which a concrete can be placed okay in this video we are going to discuss the significance and use of this apparatus and what is the standard procedure to check the workability of concrete by using this slum cone apparatus and what precautions should be kept in mind while performing this experiment and what are the different types of slum and what are the recommended values of slum for different structural members so let's start our today's topic first of all significance and use concrete slum test is an on the spot test and is a measurement of concrete's workability or fluidity as well as consistency of fresh concrete this test is used in almost every construction project to ensure immediate concrete quality the slum test is very simple and easy to handle. It is an indirect measurement of concrete consistency or stiffness. The consistency or stiffness indicates how much water has been used in the mix. The stiffness of the concrete mix should be matched to the requirements for the finished product quality. As I told you before, different structural members require different slum values which I will discuss in the end of this video. Coming towards type of slump, first of all, first one is true slump. True slump is the only slump that can be measured in the test. The measurement is taken between the top of the cone and the top of the concrete after the cone has been removed as shown in the figure 1. As you can see over here, this is the original shape of the cone and when the cone is removed, the concrete adopt this shape. Th this type of uh, slump will be called as true slump and it can be measured that how much distance it has traveled from the uh, shape of the cone or from original surface to adopt this surface this distance will be called as its slump value we will discuss in the upcoming slide the procedure and we will also perform it practically i will show you in the video uh, zero slump zero slump is the indication of very low water cement ratio which results in dry mixes this type of concrete is generally used for road construction. This is zero slump. It means that when you remove the cone, it does not uh, affect the shape of the concrete. The concrete remains, remains the same or adopt the, it adopt the shape of the cone. There is no difference uh, between, as you can see over here, there is a little difference. But in zero slump, there will be no difference. It will adopt the shape of the cone because this, this uh, concrete is very dry and uh, it becomes hard. Collapse slump. This is an indication that water cement ratio is too high. That is, concrete mix is too wet or it is high workability mix for which a slum test is not appropriate. As you can see over here, when the water cement ratio is too high and when you remove the cone, the, uh, the fluidity is so high that a concrete cannot stand in its position and it flow like a fluid. So in this case, the slump cannot be measured and such type of uh, slump is called as collapsed slump. The fourth type is shear slump. If one half of the cone slides down an inclined plane, as you can see over here, this is the shear slump. The slump is said to be shear slump. The shear slump indicates that the result is incomplete and concrete needs to be retested for valid results. If a shear or collapse slump is achieved, a fresh sample should be taken and the test is repeated. If the shear slump persists, as may the case with harsh mixes, this is an indication of lack of cohesion of the mix. So, four types of slums give different indications. Okay. Uh, and the apparatus and material we need for this uh, test is uh, obviously water and ordinary Portland cement and coarse and fine aggregates to make a concrete mix and the apparatus can include the slum cone this is the slum cone this is the tamping rod this is the ruler or scale to measure the slum value a trowel a shovel and a balance to measure the quantity of water uh, cement and aggregates 
coming towards procedure weight the cement sand and coarse aggregate according to mixed design okay whatever design you are making that is uh, if you are making 1 to 4 or 1 3 6 ratio whatever you are using make a, a cement paste and uh, mix it dry and add measured quantity of water then mix the concrete properly clean the slum cone apparatus and remove the dust or superfluous water on the inner sides place the cone with larger end at the bottom on the smooth rigid horizontal and non absorbent surface or in the base plate as you can see in the video on the right side hold the cone firmly by putting your feet on the collars provided on the cone or by pushing the handles provided on the sides of the cone as you can see in the video fill the mold in four layers by tamping each layer with tamping rod give 25 blows to each layer strike off the concrete at the top of the cone with the help of trowel clean off any leaked out water and at the base remove the mold carefully in the vertical direction measure the value of slump as shown in video during this experiment must ensure that the apparatus is clean proper before use the concrete in the slump apparatus should be compacted in four layers and not as a whole remove the mold gently in a vertical direction so that the concrete cone is not disturbed size of coarse aggregate should not be more than 1.5 inches or 40 millimeters uh, result our slump uh, if we if you can see over here this is the uh, value of our slump uh, as you can see over here this is 11 centimeters and uh, if we talk about the recommended values of slump or uh, if you uh, want to know what this 11 centimeter tells us so coming towards this slide there are some recommended values that uh, for concrete of road works the slum adopted should be 2 to 2.8 centimeters or in inches it has the value of 0 0.75 to 1.25 for beams and slabs the slump value should be 5 to 10 centimeters and for columns retaining walls thin vertical members etc the value should be 7.5 to 15 centimeters and in inches it, it should be equal to 3 to 6 inches and for impermeable work the slump value should be 7.5 to 12 okay uh, and for vibrated concrete the value of slum should be 1.2 to 2.5 centimeters and for mass concrete it should be 2.5 to 5 centimeters so that's all for today i hope you have understand the procedure the types and the recommended values for slum and the significance and use of slum and for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get more video updates